What's up, everybody? This is Matt, and that is Romeo right next to me. And you know what channel this is. We really appreciate you guys checking us out. Please hit that like button and also comment. It really helps us out. Now, this video is going to be about what's going on with this January 6th case against Trump. And the judge actually sided with Trump on this, on this when it came to the gag order. So let's go ahead and take a look at this article. I'd like to just remind everyone real quick, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Breaking, D.C. judge sides with Trump against Biden's DOJ request for gag order at January 6th case. On Friday, Judge Tanya Chutkin ruled against Biden prosecutors, saying that not all pretrial information would fall under a protective order that would prevent Trump from speaking about the 2020 election case brought forth by the special counsel, Jack Smith. While not all information would fall under the protective order, only information that was designated as sensitive. She agreed with the prosecution that witness interviews and transcripts that were collected during the grand jury's investigation would be considered sensitive, according to the Fox News. The defendant has the right to free speech, but that right is not absolute, Chutkin said at the beginning of the Friday morning hearing in Washington, D.C. Without a protective order, a party could release that info to the jury pool. Federal Prosecutor Thomas Windham said that the gag order was necessary to prevent quote, improper dissemination of materials, including to the public. The defendant has set forth an, I'm sorry, I lost my place. The defendant has set forth an intention to set forth any information they, that, they see, that they deem informative, with Wyndham said. Defense has broadcast their strategy, and that is not to try this case in the courtroom, and Your Honor should address that. John Laro, Trump's attorney, argued that the Biden administration's request was extraordinary. Quote, we are in uncharged, well, I think he means uncharted waters, we have a defendant running for president and his opponent has the Department of Justice bringing charges against him, Laurel said. Chutkin told him that the fact that he's turning a political campaign has to yield to the orderly administration of justice, suggesting that Trump could release evidence regarding fellow GOP presidential candidates and former Vice President Mike Pence's testimony. The defendant's desire to respond to political opponents has yet ha has to yield, Chutkin said. There are limits. This is a criminal case. The need for this case to proceed in a normal order means that there are going to be limits on the defendant's speech. Okay, that's the end of the article. <laughs> Yeah, and it was written in a way which was sort of uh, difficult to read. Well, I, I think that uh, they got it out too quickly and didn't uh, make sure it was edited properly because uh, yeah, cross it, all the T's and dot the I's. They did yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did not. They're like just big. Let's throw it out. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm, but, uh, well, I'm glad it looks like Trump is uh, not going to have to fight this gag order battle and. There's certain things, of course, that he shouldn't say and that he, on advice of his own counsel, he won't say because they could potentially hurt his case. Yes. But limiting his speech in a way that would impact his ability to run for president, that's over the edge. And thank goodness the judge called it that way. Yeah. Matt, this judge is appointed by who? Obama. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She, she's Obama uh, appointed judge. Now, uh, the thing is, we're still waiting on her for her decision when it comes to when they're going to have the trial. Jack Smith wants to have it in, uh, I believe, uh, January 2nd, which will be in the middle, actually right at the beginning of the Ohio caucus. So 
that would affect the election, uh, his uh, election when it comes to winning the nomination for the Republican Party, because then he won't be able to campaign for that amount of time. Then after this, after this court case, he has to go to New York. Then after this, he'd have to go to Miami. Then after that, he'd probably have to go to Georgia. So the thing is, they'll keep him so bottlenecked in these court cases where he can't campaign. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say here and now, none of these cases should be heard before the 2024 election. Um, like you just outlaid, it's election interference. It's immoral. It's antithetical to what it means to be an American to take the top candidate in any party that's running. And we have a third party too. A candidate who is literally crushing the competition by, you know, 10 points or better and force him to be in court every day he should be campaigning. That is, that's just plain old election interference and it's, it's wrong. I mean, it's crazy. They want to keep him in court for about six months while the campaign's yeah. going on for the nomination. Not only that. The money he's using from these packs, uh, from his uh, Trump pack, to pay right. for this, won't be used to actually uh, for him to campaign on TVs and uh, advertisements. It's going to be used for him to defend himself. So yeah. he, he won't be able to campaign two different ways, going out there himself, retail politics or these rallies he likes doing, and he won't be able to do it on TV or, or the Internet with ads because he's too busy defending himself. Right. Not only does he like doing all of these uh, campaign rallies, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people turn up in a cornfield to hear him talk. People want to hear what he's got to say. So these are the links that they have to go to to run against Donald Trump. Now, guys, uh, she hasn't made a decision on this yet. We're still waiting. I have a feeling since she signed it this way on this particular uh, case, when it comes to uh, the gag order, she will side the other way and go with Jack Smith when it comes to the trial date. Uh, it, I think that's probably the way I'm going with it. She might actually decide to do it sooner. Who knows? But, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button and also comment and share this out to everybody. We'll be live again Monday morning, 9.30 Central Time. Please join us. We have, a, we have a really good show planned for you. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend.